What's up guys, I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. So the $250 million celebration hype train just keeps on chugging. A bunch more information regarding the celebration has just been leaked. Huge shout out to Rattler ZZ on the Dokkan subreddit for putting the information together. And also French Data Miner Kawhi on Twitter for leaking the information as well. You guys are awesome and you make these videos possible. So there you go, events. Now, Return of the Family Kamehameha event, all right. Number two, World Tournament, I believe this is for JP. Obviously new world tournament starting for global as well but for jp it appears they're getting a new goku black reward as the ranking reward so that sounds really cool don't really know what it's all about uh some new ginyu event where you can obtain piccolo so i'm assuming that's going to be a new event where you can get dupes of the EZA piccolo that's coming up what else uh dual dokkan fest with goku and frieza it starts on the 31st of this month so august 31st which leads me to believe that the leaked date for the beginning of the celebration uh august 29th would make sense considering usually they have the Dokkan Fest a couple days after the celebration actually starts, just like they did for the three year anniversary. So it looks like the celebration is starting in just under a week. Guys, get hyped, man. That's, that's absolutely awesome. Okay, moving on. Easy A AGL Piccolo, 4th of September. So that's when that starts. Um, I guess that's the, when the event starts, when we log in for the anniversary or for the celebration initially. I'm guessing we're going to get a couple copies of him and then you will be able to EZA him after a couple days on September 4th. Alright, uh, LR Goku and Frieza and EZA Jiren, the 13th. So that would be the second part of the $250 million celebration. Sounds like it starts on the 13th, maybe a couple days before that. Not really sure at the moment. But um, yeah, that's hype. LR Goku and Frieza, the leader of the representatives of Universe 7 category and also easy a jiren first of all don't get too excited for that one it sounds like what it's going to be is similar to the movie broly easy a event where you can fight jiren but you're not going to be able to obtain like a droppable card or a farmable awakenable card or anything like that i could be wrong but it sounds like it's gonna be something like that but nonetheless still more events more dragon stones um more free orbs and things like that from this event so that's okay with me Boss Rush number 6 starts on the 13th as well, so it sounds like that's going to be the second part of the uh, celebration too. Physical Kid Boo Easy A. October question mark. So, sounds like it's going to be in October. Nobody knows the exact time, but yo, Easy A Kid, Go uh, Kid Goku. Kid Boo is going to be the next Extreme Z Awakenable unit. So we're making our way down the list. Hopefully, STR Gogeta is next or... Yeah, I mean, that's that's the most anticipated for me. Let me know in the comments down below which unit you guys want to get their EZA next. But I personally really want STR Gogeta to be the one after Kid Buu. But Kid Buu is exciting too, so that's freaking awesome. And uh, Frog changes int to tech orbs, recovers 70 HP. 70% HP, so that is going to be the new support item, the Frog support item that we'll get from the new celebration. And it gives, it, it, it's an orb changer as well as a heal so, pretty nice item. Okay, now we got the details for the LR Goku and Frieza Final Form Angel. So I'm guessing it's uh, Final Form Frieza. Oh, it's Final Form Angel Frieza. Okay, yeah, I got confused. I was like, is it Angel Goku? And Final doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Okay, here are the stats. I believe this is probably with the free potential system, not fully duped out, not 100%. So with free potential system, it's probably gonna be uh, attack, well, it, this is, not, not probably, this is the number that they say. Attack is 17,215. Not bad. Um, you know, I say that's like pretty standard for an LR. HP 13,288 and defense 9,238. Their leader skill is Universe 7 Warriors Key Plus 3. By the way, it's a new category. It's not Universe Survival Arc, which a lot of people think it is. It is a new category with only uh, Universe 7 units, Universe 7 characters from the World Tournament or from the Tournament of Power. Tournament of Power, yeah. Uh, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 170%, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 90% for super attack types. Their super attack is 12 to 17 key, well, I mean, yeah, regular super attack, basically 12 key super attack causes colossal damage and lowers enemy attack, and their 18 plus key, or their ultra um, super attack causes mega colossal damage and lowers attack, of, uh, attack and defense of the enemy. Sorry if I'm like all over the place right now, I'm just very excited for this information, so I'm going to be stuttering my words a little bit, but you guys understand. Just very, very hype, passive. Attack and defense plus 77%, attack 77 to, I believe it means attack plus 77% when performing a super attack, and additional 77% if enemies attack is reduced. So as you can see, their super and their ultra super already reduced the enemy's attack. So if you have, so if you have supered, then there is an additional 77% plus 77% plus 77%, so 240, is it 231%? 
Some, something like that. I don't know. Mental math is hard, guys. I believe he's, they're going to have a total of a 231% attack boost if you have, if you're performing a super and you also already super them. So on the second turn that you attack them, you're going to have a additional 231% attack boost. Holy crap. These guys are going to be absolutely bananas. Absolutely insane. Man, okay, Lynx, over and a flash, experienced fighters, rival duo, shocking speed, turn of power, legendary power, fierce battle, very solid Lynx, um, you know, just, just really, really good. Now, after that, I mean, I, I, I would like to spend more time on that specific unit because it is probably the most hype one for the celebration, but there's so much other information out here that I just have to keep going. Guys, just let me know if you have any comments about any of this in the comment, I mean, in the like just yeah, if you have any thoughts about this stuff in the comments down below, and I will you know have that discussion with you, and it'll be a lot of fun, guys. I know we're all hyped. I'm hyped. Um, physical Frieza is for the comp so the, this is the JP versus global competition thing. The loser will get the physical Frieza, the winner will get the STR Goku. They are the exact same card though, like exact same details, leader skill, passive, super attack. Um, the only difference are the links and the categories, but as far as how the cards work, they're gonna be the same. I personally want the Frieza, so I don't mind if global loses. I am a global main. Um, but you know, Goku looks cool too. So their leader skills, well, uh, basically they're both rainbow leaders. Leader skills, key plus three, HP attack defense plus 30% to all types. Passive is, um, if HP is 77% or below, key plus three, attack and defense plus 77%. So, uh, not as horrible as I expected, to be honest. <laughs> they're not as bad as I expected, but still, you're not going to be using this on any team if you're trying to clear a hard event or just trying to run an optimal team. They're more just trophies, just fun things to have, a memento from the anniversary, or from the, I keep calling it anniversary, $250 million celebration. Um, and the super attack causes supreme damage, links are prodigy, uh, prodigy, super universe of, universe's most malevolent, strongest clan in space, nightmare and shocking speed, and category is Nama category. So that would be for the physical Frieza and for the STR Goku, same leader skill, same, um, Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, yeah, no, exact same, exact same. I was like, are there are there any changes? But no, it's the exact same. Super attack on supreme damage. Links are Z fighters. Golden warrior, super saiyan race. Uh, saiyan, super saiyan, and kamehameha. Categories are Namek saga and pure saiyans. So, like I said, the same card, just different art and different um, categories and links. Now, Easy A Piccolo. So this is the free Piccolo we're getting upon login, and he will eventually get an Easy A a couple days after that. His TUR leader skill is key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 77% to Namek category. So the same for, uh, same as EZA Kid Gohan, but he also gets a 30% uh, for AGL types uh, as a secondary leader skill. So I'm guessing that's key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 30% for AGL types as well. A super attack causes supreme damage, 30%, plus 30% defense for one turn. Passive skill is attack and defense plus 60%, attack plus 12%, and plus 2 key for every rainbow key sphere obtained. Transform by absorbing nail when showing up on the second turn. Oh, okay, so wow, he he, he transforms like immediately after, after, after one turn has passed. It's not like an HP restriction or a chance transform. It sounds like he just basically, like turn one, he's there, and then next turn he becomes fused with nail. So, um... I guess it's probably the fastest transformation we've seen in the game so far. And, I mean, aside from the new Goku and Frieza that are coming. We'll get to that in a second. <laughs> okay. Um, links are Z Fighters, Experienced Fighters, Namek, Brainiacs, um, Shocking Speed, Gaze of Respect, Shattering the Limit. Not too bad, not too good, just okay. Categories are Namekian and Namek Saga. So I guess Namekian is going to be a new category added to the game when this guy comes. And uh, he seems pretty solid. He, he's a nuker. Um, very similar, maybe a little bit better actually than the... Uh, Easy A Kid Gohan as well, so he's probably going to be the new leader for that category, which I don't mind because it's a Namek Saga and we're having a we finally have a Namekian to lead that category. So yeah, that makes sense. Um, transformed when he transforms, his passive skill becomes so everything else remains the same. His passive skill become recovers 30% HP at the start of turn. Whoa, is that just one time or is it for every turn? Because if that's every turn. That's ridiculous, man. You, you will never die if you have this guy on your team then. Because every single turn he comes back, you're getting 30%, 30%. And if your team has like 300k, that's like 9... Wow, that's 90,000 HP recovery every single turn. Like, I, I don't know if it's every single turn or just one time when he transforms. But if it's every turn, wow, that's crazy. Um, changes AGL key spheres into rainbow. Attack and defense plus 70%. Key plus 3. Attack plus 15%. And recovers 18k HP per rainbow key sphere. Okay, so it sounds like he's a lot better than the kid Gohan. Because <laughs> he got the recovery. He got um, the, the key sphere, the, the orb changer mechanic. And he also has um, just a, like just everything, man. This, this, this card is really, really good. Like one of the best free-to-play cards we've ever seen. 
Uh, we'll have to test him out to see how good he actually is once he's in the game, but from what I see right now, he seems pretty insane. Wow, okay. We also get Forest Rangers, Maron, uh, Marin, Goten, and Trunks, super physical. This sounds like, let's see, it's probably going to be a free card as well, I'm guessing, because I don't see people really getting too hyped to pull for a, Mar a Marin, Goten, and Trunks. Sorry guys for those of you who are fans of them. Uh, leader skills, key plus two, attack, HP attack and defense. Uh, it doesn't say a percentage, but I guess it doesn't really matter because it's probably not going to be a leader. Super attack causes supreme damage. Passive skills, attack and defense plus 100%, attack and defense minus 5% every single turn. So they start off very, very strong, but then every turn that passes, they get weaker and weaker. So yeah, that's definitely a free-to-play card mechanic because they wouldn't do that for a Dokkan Fest unit. Um, links are Innocence, uh, More Than Meets the Eye, Budding Warrior, Prodigies, Heroes of Justice, and Shattering the Limit, and their categories, uh, or category is Universe Survival Saga. Okay. Now we're gonna get into, well aside from the LRs, this is like the main meat of the, uh, the, the celebration. The new Goku and the new Frieza that transform every single turn from their base form to their final form. For Goku, it's Super Saiyan Blue. For Frieza, it's final form, or no, Golden Frieza. So let's see what, what happens here. Okay, so for their base form, Goku. Um, leader skill, key plus three, HP, HP attack defense plus 120% to super types. This is obviously his, his TUR form. Um, super attack causes immense damage and raises attack and defense, uh, I'm guessing by 30%, which is the average. So uh, it's an unlimited stack. Every single turn he supers, his attacks can get higher and higher and higher. Uh, passive, his attack and defense was 80%, damage received minus 21%, and he will transform when conditions are met. Links are all in the family, Golden Warrior, Experienced Fighters, Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Prepared for Battle, and Fierce Battle. And his categories are Pure Saiyan, Super Saiyan 3, Realm of Gods, and Full Power. A lot of categories he'll be able to run on a lot of teams. I'm sure he'll be optimal on every single one of those teams. Super Saiyan 2 Goku, so the next turn, he will transform to Super Saiyan 2 Goku. His leader skill is... Okay, so all the leader skills will remain the same, because obviously the leader skill is not going to be changing in like mid-game. Uh, but other things change, so um, let's see, let's see. Super attack is the same. His passive becomes attack and defense plus 90%, no, attack plus 90%, defense plus 60%. And he his damage received is minus 22% as opposed to 21%. And obviously transforms when conditions are met. Links appear to be the same. Yes, same, same links, same categories. Okay, next, next, next form, Super Saiyan 3 Goku. That would be the turn after that. Um, let's see, let's see, attack plus 100% and defense plus 40%, so it looks like his attack goes up and his defense goes down every single turn. Damage received minus 23% though, so his damage received, uh, like his damage like reduction, um, passive is also going higher and higher, so he will still, t I guess it balances out a little bit. Transforms on conditions are met, um, same links except for the fact that he also gets over in a flash. Yes, yeah, so same links except he gets all over in the flash. Um, categories of Pure Saiyan, Super Saiyan 3. Yo, I, okay, I keep saying the categories, but you guys know that it's, they're the same every single transform. They don't change the categories like, with like every transformation because it's happening mid-game. Super Saiyan God Goku. Um, attack plus 110%, defense plus 20%, and damage received minus 24%. And um, I think the links might change a little bit here. He gets Shocking Speed here. And Godly Dimension, Warrior Gods. Yeah, okay, so the ones that, the links that change here are Godly Dimension, um, Warrior Gods, Shocking Speed, and everything else is the same. And the last form for Goku is Super Saiyan Blue Goku. This would be after four turns have passed in the fight, and he gets attack plus 120%, key plus 12. Ridiculous amount of key. I don't know why they get so much key. Do they get like an Ultra Super at some point? Because that, that is a lot of key. Like, why do you need... Basically, they're guaranteed a super attack, essentially. Like, they will super attack every single turn with this passive. Um, damage received minus 25% and 100% chance to do a critical hit. So, rip uh, rip LR Trunks <laughs> with his 50% chance to critical. But, you know, that's the power creep. That's how the game works. So, yeah. Um... Links are all in the family, Garden Dimensions, Warrior God, Super Saiyan, Shocking Speed, Fierce Battle, Orbit, and Flash. And if you guys have seen the transformation animations, they are absolutely fire. I'm not going to show them here. You can find them out uh, on, on Reddit or on Twitter or somewhere else. They look insane. They're stupid good. Okay, we're going to move on to Frieza because there's uh, the video is going really long. Leader skill, key plus 3, HP attack and plus 120% to extreme types. So as you will notice, they're basically um, STR Goku, or no, STR, STR Rose Black, uh, Goku Black Rose and Tech Vegito Blue. Same leader skills, except without the restriction of having all types, so basically better versions of those two. Super attack is immense damage, raises attack and defense, unlimited stack, 
And for his passive, it's attack defense plus 80%, recover 11% of HP, so he heals and transforms when conditions are met. His links are strongest in cl clan and space, universes uh, most malevolent, metamorphosis, thirst for conquest, big bad bosses, fear and faith, and fierce battle. Categories are revive warriors, movie bosses, and full power. Great, great categories too. Second form. Um, his so everything else stays the same. Maybe I think he has metamorphosis here. Nope, nope. All the yeah, okay. So all the links stay the same too. And you know what? The links will change a little bit from form to form. But I'm not gonna mention them because it's just taking too much time. Um, passive becomes attack plus 90%, defense plus 60%, recovers 12% HP. Third form is attack plus 100%, defense plus 40%, recovers 13% HP. And a la uh oh, and there's third. Wait, there's another third form. That makes no sense. I think he just put this twice by accident. That's okay. We're gonna move down here to final form. Final form is attack plus 110%, defense plus 20%, recovers 14% uh, HP um, every turn, I'm guessing. And, oh, only once. It might be only once. Because at the bottom here it says only once. Oh, okay, I'm guessing the recovery of the HP is only once. Um, but in his final form, his gold, not, not final form. I, I say final form like it's the last form, but there's also a final form, so I have to say golden Frieza form. Uh, his attack becomes a plus 120%, plus 12 key, so guaranteed super, and 100% chance to do a critical, just like Goku, and he also recovers your HP by 15% only once. Looks like Goku's gonna be a little bit more tanky, because, well, quite a bit more tanky because he gets uh, the 25% damage reduction in his final form, but Frieza still looks really, really good. So there are all the details for the new Goku and Frieza dual Dokkan fest, at least for the units. We don't have the stats yet, but we all know exactly what they do now. Um, their passive links and all those things, so they look absolutely insane. <laughs> what can I say? Uh, there's some new cards that are coming with the banner too, or with the banners. They're gonna be a oh, this is for their TUR forms only. But I mean, at the end of the day, we probably most of us probably only just care about TUR form because we're not gonna leave them in their SSR form. So here are the details. There's gonna be a new Kaioken Goku. His leader skill is Q plus two HP attack and defense plus 90% to super physical types. Very good for a physical super physical leader. Um, his super attack causes supreme damage, greatly raises attack for one turn, that's a 50% attack boost. Passive is attack on defense plus 80%, attack plus 20% for every attack done up to 120%. So in theory, he can have up to an attack of 200% after, it'd be 6 turns. So after 6 turns of attacking, he would have 120%, so it's, it's probably not going to get up that high for most fights, but that's a lot of potential. Uh, links are Z Fighter, all in the family, Super Saiyan Warrior Race, Kamehameha, Shocking Speed, Prepare for Battle, Fierce Battle, and his categories are Pure Saiyan, Namek Saga, and Full Power. And for the, uh, there's a new final form, Frieza, probably it's gonna be respectively for the uh, Goku banner and the Frieza banner. This one's gonna be on the Frieza banner. Uh, leader skill key plus 2, HP attack defense plus 90% to extreme SDR types. A super attack is cause supreme damage, really raises attack for one turn, and his passive is attack and defense plus 80%. After taking a hit, attack plus 100%. So, Initially, this freeze is going to hit harder than Goku, yes, but um, Goku has a bit of a higher ceiling, and also, okay, yeah, no, just a bit of a higher ceiling, but it looks like Frieza has to take a hit first before he gets his attack boost, and it'll probably be only for one turn. I don't think he's going to be, you know, I, I don't think it's going to be like he gets hit once and he, he immediately has 180% boost. I think it's going to be like every time he gets hit, you'll get 180, 100%, but if that turn he doesn't get hit, then you will have only an 80% boost. So it like kind of evens out a little, out, evens out a little bit. Totally get it. Sounds good. Links Z Fighter on the family. Saiyan Warrior Race. Kamehameha Shocking Speed. Prepare for battle. Wait a second. That makes no sense. Okay, so the the, <laughs> the links are off here for sure because those are all the same links as Goku, and I don't believe Frieza is a Saiyan Warrior. So <laughs> yeah, the links are off. But aside from that, everything else is legit. Um, and categories are Namek Saga. I, I, I wonder if he has more categories than that, if, or if it's only Namek Saga. I don't know, it stands to be seen. I, 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 okay, disclaimer, not all the information here is going to be 100% accurate, even though I don't, I don't blame uh, the guy that posted this, Rattler Z, ZZ, ZZ. Oh, here are the transformation animations too. Let me see if I can click on these quickly. Or should we just now... Oh, oh okay, there's a lot of, lot of stuff here. Um, you know what, we're not going to get to that, but you know what, I'll put, post a link to this post down in the comment uh, in the description below so you guys can go check it out yourself and see all the transformations and see all the card arts and all those things but guys that's all the leaked information um like i said some of it's going to be a little bit off but most of it will be 100 percent legit i understand it's like there might be a few little errors here and there um but overall this is a lot of the things you can expect for the 250 million celebration in terms of the units and the events and things like that we have a lot of dates here too 
that we are now pretty much confirmed to come on those dates. So, oh uh, yeah, hype! <laughs> this video went very long, but I think it's totally worth it. You guys just got filled in very, very hard. So much, more, so much new information. Let's go and like process it because like I still need to process it right now. There's just so much happening. But guys, hope you guys are excited. That's all the news for now. Um, Hope you found it useful, and if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video, and if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like to see, and you want to see more of it, then maybe, just maybe, hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. But as always, hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.